What's going on everyone? DJ here with Toy Game bringing you another Dragon Ball Sparking video today. This is the last video of 2023 as tomorrow we turn into 2024. That's right guys, we have made it through a whole nother year of uh you know trials and tribulations happiness sadness and all that so if you are listening to this i'm glad you made it to the end of the year um if you aren't well then you know i i don't know what else to say about that <laughs> i'm sorry uh you know sorry for the ones that we lost this year trust me i know about the loss this year i, I lost probably one of the most important people ever but um yeah uh this is, is we're, we're heading into 2024 so if you're watching this video you're either watching it the end of, of 2023 or the beginning of 2024 and i thank you for uh being here and i thank you for just watching my videos guys like the last few months um since i've started dropping like legion go um content and dragon ball Spartan content and stuff like that like you guys have kind of you know just been tuned in and stuff like that so i appreciate the views but what i don't appreciate is you guys not subscribing go ahead hit the subscribe button like the video you know what i'm saying i'm trying to grow uh my channel this year uh right now of course my current goal is to hit 100 subscribers once i hit 100 subscribers i do plan on giving out a copy of dragon ball sparking uh zero to you know uh, a lucky uh, subscriber you got to be a subscriber in order to to be able to uh get that um and you know it can be on steam pc i mean well steam is pc uh steam uh xbox or playstation so um you know go ahead and, and, and sub to the channel uh, I, I would greatly appreciate that but um yeah so today we have a very very huge video to cover about dragon ball sparking again any information that i've been getting on these uh for these sparking videos guys have been from a youtuber known as president rose i will leave the link to his channel in the description below um anytime i get dragon ball news uh, as like right now i generally get it from from rose or from uh geekdom 101 those are probably like two of the most reliable sources um that i know of um sometimes rhyme style but you know a lot of times he's he's uploading master duel videos now uh rhyme style if you ever see this bro like play me in master duel nigga i will i will smoke you like i guarantee you probably not but i guarantee you i will i don't know anyways let's go on with the video guys so there is a rumored heavy rumored roster list that is out right now this comes from um president rose's leaker his source his main confidant the guy who knew there was going to be a trailer at the game award so i 110 percent believe in this list however he did say um that uh, characters that are on this list may be pulled from the list and characters that aren't on the list may be added to the list uh before the actual release of the game of course you can consider stuff like dlc and stuff like that to come out as well uh one thing i do want to say is all giant forms all like all giant transformations or whatever are offline only guys and that could be like a power thing because you know they're they're giant they're giant characters they're probably like a, a, just a tad bit stronger than you know your smaller characters i mean that's not always the case when you really think about dragon ball but just remember that as i read this list off because there are a lot of giant transformations in here so we'll start off all right so we have goku uh or kid goku my bad from dragon ball this is not the diamond kid goku and and i i want to emphasize that because there's another character on this list um and when i first read it i was like oh that's that's crazy but then i started thinking about it and i was like no that's not a daima character i wholeheartedly believe daima characters will be dlc um or like uh some kind of some type of added content like later on down the line as far as um unlockables or something like that so we have kid goku uh he can also do his great eight great eight form again that is offline only for the great eight form uh we have chi chi it doesn't specify if that's kid chi chi or adult chi chi so i'm going with adult chi chi uh, mercenary tau cyborg tau um android eight or eighter as goku used to call him uh devil man general blue awesome uh demon king piccolo orali cool uh piccolo jr cool grandpa gohan i ain't gonna lie i'm hyped about grandpa gohan i think he was in tenkaichi 3 i'm not if i'm not mistaken but i'm, I'm still hyped for him he's still dope as fuck uh the pilaf machine so uh that's the uh, uh plaw uh what's his name uh, uh pilaf my and the other the other wolf dog looking guy can i don't even know his name uh, I, i'm guessing that's them just kind of fused 
Uh, you have Goku. So you have Kid Goku from Dragon Ball, and then you have Goku from Dragon Ball Z, who can transform into Super Saiyan 1, Super Saiyan 2, and Super Saiyan 3. You have Goku from Dragon Ball Super, who can transform into Super Saiyan 1, Super Saiyan God, and Super Saiyan Blue. And then you have UI Goku as a separate character who can transform into Mastered UI. So Goku Super does not have the ability to transform into Go into uh, UI, which... I guess it makes sense, but kind of sucks. But again, it makes sense because UI is pretty much Goku past its limits. And it's not really like um, transformation. Although later in the manga, I guess, you know, you kind of can transform. He kind of can transform into it, like whatever. But anyways, so you uh, UI sign. And then, the, like I said, uh, the master, uh, the master transformation. Uh, GT Goku for Super Saiyan 1, 2, and 3. Of course, that is also another version of Kid Goku. Now, this is the character that kind of confused me, and this is why I thought Daima, but this is how I know it's... This is why I think it's not Daima, and that is Kid Vegeta. My thoughts is that it's going to be Kid Vegeta uh, that we've seen in, like, flashbacks or that we've seen in the Broly uh, movie from Dragon Ball Super. It's not... I, I do not think it is uh, a, a kid version of Vegeta from Dragon Ball Daima. Uh, then we have Sand Saga Vegeta, who can also transform into a great ape. Uh, Vegeta, Super Saiyan 1, and Super Vegeta. And then we have uh, Vegeta. Uh, it's it's a combination of Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super Vegeta. Because uh, he can transform into Super Saiyan 1, Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan God, uh, Super Saiyan uh, uh, Blue, and then uh, Blue Evolution. Uh, we have Majin Vegeta, GT Vegeta, who is Super Saiyan 1 and Super Saiyan 4, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta as his own character, and I'm guessing that's from like the Raging Blast series, because if I'm not mistaken, he is in Raging Blast 2. We have Bardock, Super Saiyan 1, get, get this, hold on, Super Saiyan 1, Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3, and the ape form. Now, that Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, uh, it's like a whole what-if scenario, but it's also, I believe, from Super Dragon Ball Heroes. Uh, which there are some Dragon Ball hero characters on this list too, and we'll get to those by the end. Uh, Fasha, she can also go into her, her grade eight form. Krillin, Kid Gohan, he has a grade eight form. Uh, Tien and Yamcha, they don't have super variants or whatever, so I'm guessing uh, their super um, clothing is just like an alternate costume for them. Uh, Piccolo, the Cybermen, Raditz, Turles, they both transform into apes. Nappa transforms into an ape. Uh, Lord Slug, he also has his giant form. Uh, you have the Ginyu Force. You have Bardon. I mean, Bardon. What the fuck was that? You have Zarbon, who can transform into his ugly form. You have Dodoria, Kui, uh, Frieza Soldier, King Vegeta, who can transform into an ape. I'm kind of shocked that King Vegeta has not gotten a Super Saiyan form um, as far as like as heroes or something like that. Like that's really odd to me, but whatever. King Code, Frieza, second form, third form, final form, full form. This is Frieza from the Namek Saga. Uh, you have Mecha Frieza. You have Cooler, uh, Cooler's final form. You have Metal Cooler or Meta Cooler, um, Android 19, Android 20, Android 16, Android 17, Android 18, and android 21 guys yes we are getting android 21 you know she was made canon in uh the superhero movie she has her majin uh, transformation and she also has her purple majin transformation and then we also have another android 21 character which is the good version of her i'm guessing that's the one from super because i think the the one in fighters is the the evil version uh bojack he has a, a a full power form as well uh zangya which is bojack's henchman uh dragon ball z broly he has super saiyan 1 and his legendary form super saiyan 3 dragon ball z broly again that's also from uh the raging blast series as well uh there's a mystery character it's, it's just not listed um this one kind of confuses me so there's trunks from I i'm guessing from dragon ball z because he his only transformations are super saiyan 1 and a berserk super saiyan form and i don't ever remember him going berserk super saiyan like um kale i think yeah kale did um but i know he had rage and the reason this is weird for me because there is a trunk super version uh variant on here so i'm not sure where this berserk form came unless they meant super like you know how vegeta has the super saiyan one but he also has super vegeta maybe trunks has super saiyan one and super the super trunks version i'm i mean again i'm just going off what i've what i'm reading 
uh sale he has his second form his perfect form and a super perfect form sale jr adolescent gohan not team gohan he was 12 he was like 11 or 12 when he fought Cell, bro he was not a teenager uh he has super saiyan 1 super saiyan 2 um hercule videl goten super saiyan 1 kit trunk super saiyan 1 goten super saiyan 1 and 3 uh vegeto super saiyan and super uh and super saiyan blue uh we have future gohan who can only get super saiyan one they could they could they could have gave him like some else you know what i'm saying give him some some dragon ball hero type shit you know but whatever uh we have adult gohan uh which is super saiyan one and two and then you have ultimate gohan which is just you know when he comes back from the the land of the kais uh dragon ball z gogeta who can only go super saiyan one Pycon, fat boo evil boo kid boo super boo who can do gohan go tanks or piccolo absorbed uh oob who has his maj oob transformation uh fat janemba who is offline only who can transform of course into super janemba uh harutagon offline only uh dobora supreme kai kabito kai uh baby this is weird baby can only transform into super baby one and super baby two he cannot transform into the golden ape as of now again like i said this they the the leaker did say that um a lot of a lot of characters could be added and a lot of characters could be taken off uh super 17 um then we get to the Shinron. So we have, uh, uh, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. EIS, I guess it's Ice Shinron. I guess that's the blue one. And then you have Nova Shinron. And then you have Oceanus Shinron in her princess form. Uh, and then you have Sin Shinron, of course, who can transform into Omega Shinron. So they've added um, Oceanus uh, Shinron into there. Uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, of course. GT Pan, GT Trunks, who can transform into Super Saiyan 1. Then we have Beerus Whis and Jocko frieza from dragon ball super he can transform into his final form or that's weird because frieza's always been in his final form in dragon ball. well no he actually was not in his final form at the beginning of resurrection f so i'm guessing you start off as uh his first form transform into his final form his golden form and for those who think that the manga characters are going to be in this i wanted them to they are not his last transformation is true golden frieza um, I'm guessing that's like the 100% power up, guys. He is not getting his Black Frieza form in this game, so that sucks. Uh, we have Kaba, who's transformed Super Saiyan 1 and 2. Uh, Frost, who has his second, third, final, and full form, uh, full power. Uh, Hit, Champa, Vados. Goku Black, of course, he can transform into Super Saiyan Rose. Uh, Zamasu, Fuse Zamasu. Now, if you can put Black and Zamasu on, on like a team together and they can just fuse into that would be dope but whatever um fuse also has a transformation called half corrupted that's of course you know his ugly ass form that one's offline that's not a giant form so i don't know why that one's offline but it is uh you have trunks from dragon ball super he can go super saiyan 1 super saiyan 2 and his rage form that's what i'm saying i don't know what that berserk form i'm, I'm guessing that was meant to be his uh his super trunks form uh topo with his god of destruction form uh jiren he can also has his full power form uh we have other um characters from the tournament of power Ko kokati cash Ka i don't know how to pronounce those two names but they're in there whoever they are uh dispo bergamo bergamo has his giant form i don't remember bergamo going a giant but that's just me um uh basil lavender um akawe whoever the fuck that is uh roshi and his buff form of course um dragon ball super super uh android 17 uh kale she has her berserk super saiyan form and her controlled super saiyan form of course you guys remember that she went crazy and then she was able to control it like instantly uh Khalifla, she has a super saiyan one and two form kefla the fusion of course she has super saiyan one and then we have some super dragon ball hero characters here guys we have the mass sand uh which i believe was the big super buff one if i'm not mistaken if that's the one they're going with because i know bro like uh bardock also has a mass sand form and all this bullshit uh mira um also has a final form which is offline toa um supreme kai of time which is dope i don't know if she's playable in xenoverse but she will be playable in here dbs broly uh so the way they're they're labeling his forms are wrath uh, wrathful super saiyan and then his full power super saiyan which i'm just dubbing legendary uh because that's of course what it's based off of uh dragon ball super gogeta he has super saiyan one and his blue form then we have gamma one and gamma two we have dragon ball super piccolo in his yellow form and his orange form um his orange form 
if I'm not mistaken, is a giant form as well. But I'm not sure. It, it doesn't say offline for that. So I don't know if they're going to include like when he gets big or not. I'm not fucking sure. Uh, Super Gohan. He is going to have his Super Saiyan 1 form, his Mystic form. And get this, guys. This is going to be a pre-order early unlock for his Super Saiyan uh, Beast form. Beast Gohan will be in the game as a... Uh, you, of course, I'm pretty sure all these characters will be unlockable throughout the story mode. But if you pre-order the game, it does come as a pre-order un early unlock bonus. So just keep that in mind. Um, Cell Max, completely offline because we already know he's a giant character. Few from Dragon Ball, Super Dragon Ball Heroes and Xenoverse will be in there. And get this, Xeno Trunks, who can go Super Saiyan 1, Super Saiyan 2, and Super Saiyan 3. They should have included Time Patrol Trunks so he can go Super Saiyan God, um, but they didn't. Uh, Vegeta, now that I think about it, I don't think can go Super Saiyan God either. I think he goes straight into Super Saiyan Blue, um, which is crazy because... No, Vegeta actually has Super Saiyan God form. Okay, so that's cool. So Vegeta can go Super Saiyan God. They should have included Trunks to go Super Saiyan God, but it is what it is. Um, he also mentions there's uh, Raging Blast 2 enhanced characters make a comeback. I'm not exactly sure what that means. I'll be honest with you. I didn't play all the way through Raging Blast through like their little battle shit or whatever they had. I, I got it on an emulator. I imp imported the save data and everything was already there. So it is what it is. Um, he also says a ton of the characters that you can like fight or whatever in the story mode aren't playable as well. So uh, whichever characters those are um, aren't going to be playable. Again, like I said earlier, a lot of these characters on this list could be pulled and a lot could be added or some could just be added and unpulled, you know, whatever. But you also got to remember as well, Dragon Ball Daima drops fall of next year. I assume by early 2025, we will have some Dragon Ball Daima uh, DLC for story mode so you could play through and unlock those characters. Um, so that's it for the for the roster, everyone. Like I said, this is already a huge roster. Like I had a long time just typing this shit out um, and just looking at it right now. Like it's very, very huge. I cannot wait to play this game. Um if you think manga characters should be added somehow in a in a DLC, drop your comments below. Uh, drop just drop your comments below. Period on who you think um, on this list should be taken off, who you think should be added, who you would just want to see. Period. Should they? Should you? Should we see manga characters? Like I, I had an idea of how they could do manga um, stories within the game. Like you could just add them in as like panels, and then just go to the battles, and then after the battles you have like the narrator reading off the panels again like of course you're not gonna do like the whole panel you're just gonna do like summaries of that arc and stuff like that and i think that would be dope because you don't necessarily have to animate the fights yet because they haven't been animated of course in the anime but you can at least give us those characters to fight those battles within the actual story mode i think that would work um why they won't do something like that i don't know i have no fucking clue but i wish they would and um hopefully we get to that so anyways guys that's it for this video i hope y'all enjoyed i hope you guys have a great new year's eve tonight and i hope you have a fantastic 2024 i will see y'all in the next one i'm out peace <laughs>